Hello everyone, this is Data from JGX and here we are with another Mac review. Today we will talk about the Mist Links. Why the Mist Links? Because it's one of the best Macs in the game, again, like the Firestarter, maybe even better. And one of them in particular, the Mist Links G, is maybe among the, the top three Macs in the game right now if not the best Mac in the game right now. We will start with some technical analysis on them and then at the end I will draw my conclusions. Again, before we get started though, please, if you haven't done that yet, remember to subscribe to this channel and share the content with your friends. Okay, uh, hitboxes. Pretty evenly distributed among the three torsos. The arms shield for the side torsos, the side torsos shield for the CT, so overall pretty good hitboxes. As for the agility, the G has a set of 8 bonus that it is going to lose soon, so this is the agility, wait, yep, this one. It's still very, 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 very high. Uh, 86 XL, 137 D cell, it's a lot of agility. It's more than many other lights, so uh, it's on the upper part of the agility. Uh, pitch angle 30, usual. Uh, your angle 130, that's a lot. Turn rate 110, that's a lot. So the agility overall, it's you, you have a fuck ton of agility. This is a good thing. Uh, as for the quirks that many of them share, overheat damage, 35%. When you overheat, you take less damage to your structure. Uh, it's an Omnimac, so it's pretty complicated with the Omnipods. Uh, what you have locked on all the variants is the jump jets. This must be noted, um, I will talk about this in the agility section because it has to do with the agility and the tankiness as well. Uh, you need to note the jump jet animation on the mislinks. Say, if you go around like this and you utilize the jump jets just to get on things and you pretend to go around like this you're not going to exploit this mech to its fullest what you must do is you must keep spamming the jump jet because the jump jet animation of this mech is completely bugged and it will dodge the shots look at this like imagine being on the other side trying to pinpoint lasers or to properly pre-fire PPCs, gauzes or whatever at this mech while it's doing this kind of job. Like, I, I am a world champion. I'm not able to track this shit with, with lasers. With a laser vomit mech. Or, say, if, with a gauze mech standing back there or back there, I wouldn't be able to hit this mech consistently if this mech is doing like, stuff like this. It, it's basically impossible. This is a combo of uh, the very high agility it has and um, the bug the bug jump jet animation and the jump jet buff. The jump jets got buffed recently. As a result, this mech does stuff like this. So when you're fighting with the mislinks, you should do the jump jet, focus on the jump jet bar, it should be like this. Focus on the jump jet bar, not on the on the shooting. The jump jet bar, like this, should keep going, always going like this. Small jumps, keep going when you fight. Like if you go like this, you're pretty much immortal. So 
so this was the Mistlings G. I think it's among the best, if not the best, mech in the game right now. It tanks like a monster because of a combo. Agility, bug jump jets, and stupidly high survival quirks. If you want to go this way and go full, you can. I mean, I was stripping just for more ammunition, but you could go like this. The armor is incredibly high. For example, many 60, 65 towers have around 50 in the arms. This is a 25, just 40. The armor is incredibly high. So if you factor together the size, the mech is very small. The armor, it has a lot of armor. The agility, it has a lot of agility. The bugged jump jet animation that counts as a twice the as if it had twice the armor it has. So that that bugged jump jet animation it is a per two to all of this armor here. And then you count the DPS. You clearly understand why I'm telling you that this is a monster. It also has some, uh, in the set of eight, some cooldown that it should uh, go away in the next patch, but it's going to still be one of the best mechs in the game. You should have and you should use this mech. Eight machine guns, four small pulses, the amount of DPS you generate while also dodging the shots is insane. Also, with the amount of jump jets uh, that you have, you can basically climb whatever mountain in this game is just one jump, except the, you know, the big hill in Alpine Peaks in the middle, but most of the mountains, you're going to climb them in one jump. So this is the Mistlings G, uh, set of eight. Another interesting uh, combo is the one that you get if you remove this kind of right arm, the G, and you put the two energy one right arm with heat. It has 5% heat and you put two small pulses. So you have a heat quirk and you will utilize these ammunitions for less machine guns. So this kind of setup will last longer. So the burst DPS of this one is less but the output in the long term is more. Depends on what you want to do. Another thing you can do is the uh, SRM one. You need the Ebon Dragoon left arm to optimize it. Because otherwise you don't have 4 SRM4s. Uh, it has even more armor, plus four, 49 armor in total, it, it's a lot. And uh, the quirks are excellent as well. Missile cooldown 10, another missile cooldown 10, missile heat gen 10, missile spread, missile velocity, it has every pos ammo quirks, every possible quirk in the game. This is how it feels. Uh, on the battlefield. Target. This is not that great, it's a good mech, a very good mech, but the SPL combo on the other one, I think it's better. Th this one is okay. The other one, it, it should be stronger. Mm, sorry, it's not, it should be strong. it is stronger. Another option is to replace the G right arm with the A right arm. Same amount of small pulses, 
the GZ of it will lose, should lose the cooldown in the next patch. Um, so you're not, you don't have that malus of not having that set of eight cooldown in this kind of build because we replace the right arm. And we also get five cooldown. So post patch, this will have more cooldown than the G. And machine gun rate of fire 15%. So it's basically instead of six machine guns, seven machine guns and a half. Uh, this one could be the next best after the G set of eight gets nerfed. Uh, another interesting one is the B, B set of eight. Missile cooldown, agility quirks, missile cooldown again. Three small pulses, two SRM six is pretty similar to the other one. It's a good mech, it's not bad. These mechs are also pretty cheap. What I think you should get is these kind of combos with the two small poles in the right arm or this one or this one with the A right arm. Another possible mislinks is the C set of eight. Uh, it has cooldown 10, ER, ER laser cooldown, ER laser range, uh, heat, even more heat. So you could actually do, you shouldn't change the pods because you want a set of eight. You could do two heavy large, but some of the quirks wouldn't apply. Or you can go two ya large. And it's pretty good to jump on top of things and shoot from there. Maybe with the arm unlocked. It has range quirk, so the range is pretty high. Heat quirk, so they don't heat as they do on other mechs. Pull down as well. I feel it. Because of the jump shit, eventually we can even get on top of those chimneys. Like we can get wherever I want, basically, with this mech. So, as for the conclusions, you should definitely have a mistlinks with whatever combo of machine guns and small pulse. Mistlinks G set of eight or change the right arm at will. The other ones are okay, but the way I see it, this mech is completely broken. Like this is 100% garbage broken shit uh, I'll leave you some videos in the in the description I'll put some links that will bring you if you haven't watched those videos yet to some footage that I have done playing with the mistlinks so you can enjoy the content see what happens when you play properly with the mistlinks and uh, I think it gets a well-deserved nerf. It should get it. It's, the patch notes are not um, online yet, but it should get a nerf. Even if, even if with that nerf, it's not going to change anything because it drags it, uh, its power not from like a 10% XL D-cell, not from energy cooldown, it drags its power out of the over-buffed armor quirks that it has. It has so many quirks on armor that you literally strip the armor for more ammunition. This is ridiculous. And it still doesn't die. I'm, I'm legit, I'm running it with stripped armor from the CT just because it's so tanky that even if you strip armor from the CT, you're still not gonna die.
and you're still gonna do an abnormous amount of damage uh, the only thing is that you won't notice that this mech is broken if you don't keep bugging with the jump jet you need to bug with the jump jet because when you bug with the jump jet the mech avoids hit reg it doesn't reg the shots go through it and when people realize it the consequences are insane say if i see even a brawler assault with lbx's whatever i'm going to say fuck you i'm going to just have 1v1 and i'm going to kill you if i find a death strike camping on a mountain i'm going to charge it straight in the open i'm going to get there i'm not going to kill him this mech and i've already done this versus multiple players and also versus we have done internal tests with another old uh, world champion bowser a death strike ghost vomit can stand on top of the trash dump on canyon network i can charge in the open with this mech get there and kill him this mech the level of op of this mech is beyond ridiculous it can frontally charge assaults not even from the back from the front and laugh at them this is just completely stupid so i strongly encourage you to try this mech to use it possibly even in flocks so drop two men three men and uh, spam them nascar all the way around get people at the back it works it's strong and you should do it especially if you you can you cannot drop four of these because of tonnage limitations but you could do like three of these and maybe a viper the loyalty viper i had in the other video with a similar build or two vipers and two miss lynxes in a four man in quick play it, it is going to work it's going to be devastating so that's it for today i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please subscribe to the channel again I I'll, I'll leave you some links in the description about some videos about the mislink I hope you enjoy them and I'll catch you next time guys bye